Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Osiris New Dawn, and uh, I want to make, I want to do a test. This is for science. <laughs> so, I've gotten onto one of these pillars like that, and uh, I'm just going to fall down and just see if it lets me live, if he floats down like a, a little butterfly, or if he just dies and we kill him, sadly, Poor Rufus. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Uh, butterfly. He's a butterfly. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was amazing. So this is this is a nice, very very cheaty mount that you have here. So uh, I don't mind it at all though. <laughs> So I went out, I actually put down another beacon, um, got, let's go ahead and get off of here, actually, let's get there. I got another, I put down another beacon because I found a deposit of just iron, straight up iron, which is something that whenever you're going out and hitting base nodes, you get, uh, of course, iron, aluminum, and magnesium, a lot of times I don't need the magnesium and it's really giving me a whole lot less iron than it is aluminum or I'm just hitting more aluminum specific nodes, those kind of things. So I went ahead and grabbed because today what we're going to be doing is purely working on getting ready to go to space. I, I want to build our house. I want to build our garage. I want to get our fuel depot going, that kind of stuff. And then next time, we're going to be going to space and beyond. So let me go ahead and get these fired up. Uh, like I said, really hot or really good iron node. I'll show you that if you want me to. Just put it in the comments and I'll make sure to go there. But one of the things I try to do is get as much iron as I can actually... <laughs> um, let's go back down to below 50 yeah 40 should be good there because we don't want to fill this completely up we want it to go ahead and continue so we'll go ahead and put another 150 iron in this one if it lets us go that high And it looks like it's... Okay, good. 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 All right. So, oh, the glare. Let's go ahead and grab this. This is um, the carbon ingots. And oh, what in the world was I going to make with this stuff? I cannot remember. There was a reason that I was grabbing it. But let's go ahead and make it anyway. We're going to uh, do plastic. I'm going to get a lot of plastic for some reason cannot remember why all right so we have the carbon we need aluminum now uh, i'm just going to throw the aluminum that i did harvest let's go ahead and sort this out um there we go throw that in there this is aluminum okay, okay we have enough let's go ahead and grab uh, 19 diamonds how much um, carbon did I get? I need to make more then. But we're going to come on down. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I haven't unlocked it yet. So let's go ahead and go into our skill tree. You can see we have 10 more points to put in. I, uh, I want to go ahead and load up on speed a little bit. To there. And I think that'll work. I mean, that way... Strength is still above, but it's never going to be enough. <laughs> I can I can farm enough that it, it will be never enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to grab the large ammo shells for our big boy over here. And then next tree is we're going to finish this up. Over here, I think we're done, Was weren't we? Oh, no, no, no. We we do have things we can put points in. Okay, that's done. That's done. Need that. And then we're out. <laughs> Ooh. I need to get that as well. 
All right, still need to get these two. So I'm not done with that specifically, and we have no more points. So we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and go in here now. And we're going to, let me just make sure it was, and then this is aluminum, yes. Okay, so we're going to make steel plates. Ugh. No, carbon was for, okay. I get, I get mixed up sometimes when I'm working <laughs> what I'm doing. Let's grab that. Let's go ahead and make all of these that we can. Okay, let those go. Let's check on these. Oh, they're not even close. Yep, they're still going. Let's go ahead and check on the plastic that I was making for some reason. Uh, one minute on all of these poo collectors. I went ahead and put down more just because I wasn't getting enough. All right, got that. And I cannot remember why I got that. All right, it has to do with a, a thing that I'm going to be making, I guess. Let me see here. Um... Oh, it's this. It's that. It's this is why I got it. So, the plan is, is we're going to do the habitat. We're going to attach to that habitat another habitat. And then do the stackable habitats. And then off of the stackable habitats, because I'm probably going to go four high. I'm going to connect a barracks. And then we'll go out using a hallway to a biodome and then we're going to connect to these things over here all this stuff and we have i think it's just rubber and steel so i'm going to have to mix up a lot of steel but should be good okay this is an industrial can we do we have industrial everything i'm guessing i want to do everything in industrial the look i want that look so it should be good. But yeah, let's go ahead and start gathering everything we need for this. <laughs> Let me see. Steel, glass, aluminum, copper. For some reason, copper. And we okay, we have we have some. We'll take it. Aluminum. Take that. Steel, was it? Steel. Steel is over here. Glass. I don't know how much of that we'll need. Let's go ahead and check now. Okay, good to go on this. That is um, what I wanted to also make sure we were good on. And, uh, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and start by putting down the habitat. So what I'm looking for is you can see how this slopes up to here. And then you have this over here. I'm going to kind of go on top of this hill right here where, where we're looking at. And that should allow us to put anything in any direction that we wish. So we're going to put a habitat down. And it's allowing me to put it over top of this hill i just want to center it up uh and i'm not even going to bring it down i just want it to be there and then we'll put this there hopefully it's going to put the legs on i know that there's been problems where they levitate <laughs> and we definitely don't want that okay good it's good enough distance from that i believe we will see. We may have to move that completely. So, all right. The next thing we need to do is just get up in here and start working on these walls. All right. So, the way I normally have this set up is this is where the bed is going to be. So, we're going to go ahead and put one of these here. Then we'll put one here. There we go. Just then we're going to go ahead and say, I think what we're going to do is we're going to have the stackables going in this direction. 
that way we can um, put everything out this direction. So we need a coupler. Um, I'm going to say here. Titanium. And rubber. Okay, let me get that stuff. That put, I think, okay, titanium. Not, <laughs> not the ore. Titanium. Rubber is over here, I think, as well. Good to go. Alright. I'm still not encumbered. Yay! <laughs> Alright. Put a coupler here. Um, that's number five. Good to go. Alright, I want to test something real quick with this. So, do I have enough supplies to... I do. I have enough supplies to make another habitat. It will attach to that habitat the way I wanted it to. So, good. Um, F. Wow, this is pretty tall. Okay, so awesome. We have a straight in between to the second habitat. This is going to be the stackable one. This is going to be the normal one. And I think that's going to be perfect. So we just now need to fill out the walls. So for this one, we're going to just fill them out with, um, with just straight up basic walls. The other one, we're going to put windows in and other things. That way it doesn't look so cramped. And let's see. I'm going to say this. Okay, let's see. I want to put, let me put the barracks here. So again, another coupler. Okay. We could put over here, I'm going to say, heading that way. Because this is kind of our science -y area anyway. That we'll go ahead and put another coupler. And that will lead to a hallway. So, um, yeah. Then over here. Okay, so we're... Okay, that is... Just making sure that I'm getting this stuff right. What do I need to make the barracks right now? I need steel. I need more plastic than I have. And lead. I will worry about making the barracks later. But this is where the barracks is going to go. So. Just trying to think here. I'm going to say that this is where the last coupler is going to go on this one. We're out of steel. Great. It's kind of why I went ahead and gathered all kinds of stuff to get ready for this. So let me go ahead and take a look here. We got oh, let's go ahead and have these start to make these. And we need iron. Okay, iron, aluminum, magnesium. Let's just load up. I'm gonna just grab it all. Not all of it, but yeah. Okay, why is aluminum in the magnesium one? <laughs> and we'll take another one. And then we'll go in here and we'll grab four of those. Whatever. We'll just grab it all. And then we'll make steel plates. Um, there we go. And I'll make a hundred of them. Actually, I'll make more than 100, so I want to backpedal. Let's go to there. All right. Let's, start, let's see how much we have. We have a lot of aluminum left. Just a little. Oh, we have the iron cooking over here. Let's grab all of that. All right. Trying to think of what I want to do next. We need, we should probably go ahead and go on a hydrogen run. C 
kind of didn't leave myself enough space for that, though. Um, hmm. All right. We should... Oh, do we have enough for the rest of the world? How much? All right. Let's go ahead and wait for the steel. Let me get the steel, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and continue on. Okay, so I have some stuff still cooking, but I went ahead and finished up. I can't even get in there right now. <laughs> Gotta go ahead and seal it up first. So I'm just going through now and uh, getting the pressurizer, which allows us to get into our building setup. And then we should be good to go on this one. Then we will go ahead and start the stackable. And I still haven't even thought about how we're going to do the regular building. The one where we build it ourselves, the way it's going to look or anything like that. But I want it to look pretty neat. Um, all right, so here's that. I can just come over here since this isn't open uh, or closed. And we need to also look into this. Oh, we can make it. Uh, if I have to go gather more resources, no matter what, I still I have that now. Um, let's see here. We can put the bed down. We can put the chemistry station down. Nice. And then I want to put on this wall a storage if we can there we go and this will just be the storage uh, that I get like computer components that kind of stuff and also any kind of gases or anything that I get from the chemistry station or the uh, collecting devices like the barrels that I have here or the glass jars that kind of thing so I as far as this one's concerned, I'm done for now. Let's go ahead and move on over to this one. This is going to be a little bit easier, I believe. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we need to do a coupler for the ceiling. There we go. And once we get the second habitat on top of this one... It will actually open this up and it'll be a, there'll be an elevator in the middle of the room. So it's kind of nice that, the way they did that. Um, steel is running low. Uh, let's go ahead and check on our steel over here and see what we got. And also we have our mags. I just have so much crap on me right now. <laughs> let, me, let me go ahead and uh, grab the steel. And we'll go ahead and throw this stuff in here. That's going to be the iron. Actually, I need that. Never mind. What am I thinking? We don't need the magnesium anymore, though. Let's go ahead and get that out of our inventory. Um, so much iron that I, that I got on me, though. All right. Good to go. Let's continue. Uh, get this second one done. So we can go ahead and stack a... Actually, now that we've put that ceiling on, if we have the stuff on us, we should be able to put a stackable on there. Yes. Okay. Don't know how I'm going to get up there, but let me go ahead and try doing this. If I can get into here, there's our elevator. And I could put another ceiling on this. Uh, coupler, rather. Go ahead and do that. And then we can... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going out, apparently. Um, so that has no sides on it. That's awesome. Uh, meaning that it doesn't have any couplers or anything. So let's go ahead and put one more on there for now, if we have the stuff for it. We do. Eh. Oh, wait a minute. It, what? Oh, why? Oh, did I choose the wrong one? Did I choose the regular one? Is that what was going on there? Boom. And there we go. So now we should be able to take the elevator down from here. Or actually 
tell the elevator to come up to us. So we want it to come to level two. Thank you, sir. And we need to go, let's go ahead and go to level three. <laughs> so in, in, in the way the game looks, I mean, you could make this as big as you wanted. But, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go down to the first level, which is F. And let's fill in the walls. I want to go ahead and put all my storage stuff in here so I can take it out of out there. Though the sad thing is I don't think, I, well, we have, we made one. I, let's go ahead and see if we can color it or anything like that. Um, no, we can't. We could just name it. There we go. That's chemistry and fabric uh, fabrication supplies. All right, let's go ahead and finish this up. Uh, what? I just put I just put a, a fifty. What? I'm confused. I thought I had, I just grabbed fifty. Did I only grab a single one? <laughs> Is that what was happening there? What? Didn't I have like a hundred steel being made or something like that? Oh, did I just use all of it because of the fact I was uh, doing all the stackables? All right. Grabbing that magnesium out again, I guess. So. Hmm. And we got a little bit of aluminum left. This is not faring well so far for my adventures. Uh, pretty, want, pretty much today I want to get everything done to move on to, um, move on to space. But this is going to make me have to do some more harvesting before I do any of that. So, all right, let me get this done and I will return again. Okay, so I'm, I now have enough to make the biodome. I went ahead and actually let me show you real quick. <clears throat> so the only thing I've added here is I've added this tunnel leading over to the biodome. Let's go ahead and make it now. Make it be so. This thing is probably going to have crazy legs on it. Or it's not. It is going to hover in the middle of the air. Welcome to the future. <laughs> that is kind of awesome that, that that has it. I wonder if I could put a barracks attached to one of these things, like hovering over top of this. Hmm. I might have to try that out. But that is, um, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to work. Let's get this thing done. So, I don't believe there's any kind of things that I have to do in here. Um, other than put down the actual... Can finally breathe easy. <laughs> Except for the actual planting devices. I don't know if I put points into it. Hopefully I did. But we'll go ahead and try to get the auto planners going. Um, because I just grabbed some more poo. <laughs> I got six poo. Alright. So I think what we do is we... Something here. Or we just go into here maybe? Planters. I need smart bins. Which require comp computer components and wire. Um, computer components and wire. I don't think I have very much. But if we can start at least one, that'd be pretty awesome. Alright, so... It over, I think it's over here. If we have any, we have 17, we only have three, but this requires, oh, I can't remember. I know it's rubber and something else for, oh, gold, copper, which I might have to smelt some up, and lithium. I have to smelt some up. 
All right, let's go ahead and get those smelted, and um, should be good to go. Oh, got some more of that. All right, lithium, copper. That should go pretty fast. All right, and I need to put this away. I went ahead and just made all of the carbon into ingots so i'm gonna have to harvest some more of that um i don't even know how much of each component it requires but i'm gonna take that and we'll go ahead and check i may have got the recipe completely wrong hopefully i didn't know um by the way none of this needs power if i remember correctly <laughs> i don't understand why this may not work because it's not sealed off. Oh, it is. It's working. And it was just copper and gold. So we're going to make an abundance of those. Good. And we can make this as well. But I don't want to waste my... I don't want to waste the um, plastic right now. Let's see what else can we make in here we can make guns in here we can make flares we've never used our flare we might try that at night uh or maybe in space can you use a flare in space <laughs> we'll see uh but we can also make the combat knife now again don't want to use the plastic because i'm pretty sure i might need it and yeah so i'm gonna just take what he has right now and go ahead and try to at least put a planter down. One. Let's see here. What am I missing? Batteries. I got batteries. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the batteries. I don't know if they're in here or in that box, but... Most of the time I put just all the stuff in here unless it pertains there's batteries good to go still i don't know if i like that or not i kind of like the fact that it's hovering in the air just because it's different all right head back in here how many of these can we make though we can make probably a a few what you need a biodome i i have built a biodome the biodome has been completed <laughs> what do you want what else do you want me to do i am in the biodome okay there we go Wow, you can really fill this thing up. Okay, it's just one, it's two here, two here, one back there. Let's go ahead and put that one down. Do another one on that side. I have no clue what I'm going to be planting. There's three planters per. So I need soil which is using human feces and sand i need I finally breathe easy <laughs> why am i getting water on my my thing here uh anyway let's go ahead and finish this thing up real quick oh i'm gonna need that copper ingots hmm Let's just grab all this copper. Let's get it all made. Just do it. I don't know why you even keep the uh, the ore at all. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get everything ready to finish this completely up so we can go ahead and move on to making vehicles. I want to go ahead and make um, at least the spaceship today. We need to set up a way to fuel it and then we also probably want to make another vehicle just to, or at least have the supplies to make a vehicle on the other planet moon whatever it's called 
Okay, so I'm working on the third floor. I got the second and the first floor completely done. And I think instead of making this also a storage place, I think we're going to just make it an observation deck kind of situation. Um, so what I'll probably do is I had never counted how many walls these things have. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. All right, so what I'll do is just alter every one. So this will be a window, this will not be a window, and so on. And then we'll put a glass roof at the top. Actually, we can do that right now. That way, if we hear that something's going on, we can just look straight up and say, Oh, something's coming down at us. Oh my goodness. <laughs> or we can enjoy the moon at night or whatever it is. So let's go ahead and get this done. And we'll move on to our next project. There we go. get that done yeah so i'm liking the building of this i'm just really interested in what's going to happen on the next section where we actually build our own stuff because we may have to not connect the houses of the um the two different buildings or i to connect our made base meaning uh from the construction tools available to us versus the habitat buildings those kind of things is, i guess that's what i'm trying to say this is wall glass hopefully i have enough for everything I'm going to have to go out on an aluminum run for sure. Okay. Last glass there. And. All right. So our home is done. It's not decorated yet. <laughs> I'll have to work on getting all that stuff done uh, later but now we're going to be going down and uh getting ready to build our vehicles number one also i kind of want to get the barracks done if i can what was i missing for the barracks missing a lot of plastic Um, what I need to do is I need to make an actual vehicle and then fill it up with um, I'm Trying to think there's what I want to do is where the gases are. I want to put a, um, a Chemistry station so I have everything for that easy easy peasy I need to go ahead and make a solar panel which I should have everything for that as well Then I need to make a storage um, place and then I need to uh, make a full depository worth of glass containers like this and then also uh, barrels and then just make all the fuel there carry it all back over to here put it into a fuel depot and that kind of thing so Still have a lot I want to do. <laughs> um, just by moving that, um, moving stuff over to there. Uh, let's just go do it. Uh, let me grab all the carbon that we have. Because that's what makes the plastic and that's what we're kind of needing right now anyway. So carbon. Grab both of those. Uh, I need, to, I, okay. Okay can't do everything at once so we'll we'll go ahead and get set up then we'll go ahead and come back and um get all of the barrels make some more barrels 
and uh, get that done. So let's go ahead and head over. Just because, uh, by the way, this is the, this is why I don't need bacons anymore. I know where everything is on my map, um, except for like specifics, like the iron ore, the fungus tree. I know where it is, but it's just easier if I have a beacon going to it. But this this is like right next to my house, and I know that if I just follow this stuff that way, where you can see those trees, that is where the um, that is where the mine is. So it makes it really easy and convenient for us. So we need a nice flat space for the... Oh, you know what? I didn't pick up... I didn't pick up a, um, a thing. Alright, so chemistry station. Boom. Easy and done. Now we need to put down a depository... done all right now we just need to get power to this empty our inventory bring barrels and we can just start making plastic so let's go ahead and get that done and um yeah then we should be able to constantly be able to refuel our stuff so i have a lot of diamond i still have like 50 diamond left we should be able to make any of the vehicles we want but what oh it's like there isn't a worm over here i don't know what you're talking about um so what we'll do is um that looks cool except for this the freaking building over there that that is the only problem but i mean if i would have built here where that built what in the world are you doing rufus come on man all right <laughs> let me put him down uh, if I would have built over here, I wouldn't have been able to build anything. Um, I guess I could have built over this way. And I, I should have maybe put this a little bit lower. But it kind of looks interesting that it's hovering. Maybe, maybe I can use these to try to cover it up. Like these round pieces. Don't know. Um, but we can try at least. If not... I'm gonna I'm gonna be uh, just um, okay with it I guess <laughs> I kind of like that it's floating I also still need to fill those planters I need to make more planters so much stuff I need to do but for right now I need barrels I need to put stuff away let me go ahead and put all this iron away I need to get I need to get a lot of aluminum because I'm completely out of aluminum now um, I am putting this stuff away and I'm thinking I might need it. Actually, let's go ahead and first make the, um, this. So I need iron. <laughs> Told you. Told you I shouldn't have been putting it away. All right. Let's make one of those. Put iron away. Put away... The very last three of my aluminum. <laughs> that structure was very taxing. What do I need for this? Is it aluminum? I'm guessing steel. So I don't. Uh, so I'm gonna have to probably go form an abundance of items so that I can make. What I should do is I should make about 500 steel. What that'll do is it'll give me everything I need to build whatever it is that I want to make. Uh, as far as our um, vehicle bay, workshop, whatever you want to call it. And then um, be able to take the materials with us. The steel, also get more glass. Take that with us to the next uh, moon or whatever planet and uh, be able to just start working straight off the bat. So that is something that I will probably end up doing soon in a minute. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. Is that gold or copper? That looks goldish. Magnesium. Gold. 
copper. All right, titanium. It's all carbon right there. All right, there's that. We need, oh, what do we need for hydrazine? We need to definitely get that stuff too. Hydrazine. Nitro, okay, so that's easy. We just need water containers. I only really need to keep one water container on me. Um, we can drink that also. We need to drink more water. Um, actually, we're not going to drink water anymore. We're going to go ahead and come on over here. Though we'll, we'll probably take a few of these with us whenever we go to the next plant. Because I have no clue how I'm going to be able to make water without doing it through chemistry. So, four. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and drink it. Fill it back up. And that is our water for now. Put that back in there. That's empty. So let's go ahead and grab all the barrels and all the glass jars. We'll go ahead and empty all of these out. Some waste and water. I understand that. But I'm trying to do stuff. Um, let's go ahead and just fire this. Up. Let's see what it. Let's see what it does. Number four. Go. Wow, I guess you could see it does does it explode. It does explode. I guess you could see that from pretty far away. It really just depends on your viewing distance. Um I mean that would be good for multiplayer, I guess. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we have in here? Let's sort this all up. Soil. Need the soil. We can come over here. I don't have, I don't have, okay, oh my goodness, ooh, I can make some of those, I need four aluminum, Just, and I don't have it, <laughs> oh my, did I make some aluminum over here or anything, please tell me yes, course not um let's go ahead and make some of these take that um let that do that let me go ahead and get barrels i might make a forge over there too just have to get the aluminum for it All right, pour it up. All right, let's go ahead and head back over. And what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna go ahead and get everything done, get ready, and then uh, we'll go ahead and make another vehicle. Also make hydrazine and all of that stuff. So let me go ahead and get that done and I shall be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so I've done a lot of work. Um, just to give you an idea of how much work, I have 245 engineering. <laughs> uh, and got probably around 300 iron and 300 aluminum. Should be good for a little bit. Not not very, very long though. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and put the points on things that I wanted to get uh, here. Which, we already got that. Want to get this. That and that. And want to go ahead and put points in that. That and that. Because these are uh, the only things we can do. This is not in the game at the moment. I mean, it won't allow us to craft it. So, let's go ahead and come over here. I'm trying to think of what I want to make. I mean, I really want this vehicle. It'll allow me to at least gather fuel faster. Though I did make a lot of hydrazine. Um, let's see. I mean, 
really I should probably go ahead and head specifically for this. So aluminum I have, magnesium I just need the wire which is tin and steel which is kind of one of the reasons I went and did all the harvesting that I did. Also I have some soil being brewed up at the moment. Let's go ahead and grab some fruits and vegetables and whatnot from here. We need to put in a kitchen. <laughs> um, there's the kitchen. We got everything we need except for glass. And I have tons of glass. I'm pretty sure I still have some. Hopefully. No glass. I can make it. <laughs> How much glass did it say, say that it needed? Oh... I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe. Maybe there. Maybe that's enough. Let's go ahead and make glass. Four glass, maybe? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look. Um, kitchen. Five glass. Let's make one more. I think it said three for each glass. There we go. Well. Oh, and that's not even the right machine. Okay, there's the gold that we need anyway. Okay, you're making glass. You're making glass. We're all making glass. I think we got everything we need. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and head back over. And I think we're going to come here first. Make our kitchen because I really want to just see what you can make. I figure... If you have a full kitchen added into the game, it's got to be for something. So, kitchen. I never got those fruits, by the way. <laughs> there we go. Kitchen is made. So, we can make grilled uh, different things. Baked potatoes. Um, the Martian's greatest foods. Uh, eggs. Cooked crab eggs. Didn't even know those things dropped. Oh, I do have tumbo legs. Oh, but it's actually tumbo meat. Is there actual Colossus stuff? So alien meat plus potatoes plus carrots. Let's check nutrition values on these. Nutrition 75, 75, 70. Snake stew. Those things are rare anyway. Not even going to worry about it. So I think this is probably what we're going to go for. Potatoes and carrots is what we need to make. So, um, let's see here. This is what I was going to make. I need 10 of those. And this requires rubber, but I probably just used a lot of copper. No, I couldn't have done that. Um, hydrazine's made. Soil. Take that. Let's go ahead and grab our fruits and copper. Okay, fruits. Carrots. And then we'll take that with us because we need to eat anyway. Let's see, how are we doing on food? Pretty low, I guess. That gives us 10 nutrition for each apple. Just think 75, you can pretty much starve yourself and then eat. So that'll be good. Let's go ahead and go back. And wire is what I need to make a lot of. So, oh, I made wire. Make computer components. Good to go. <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. All right, let's go ahead and head over here. And each one of these things, um, let's go ahead and say F. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Plant B. We'll do all G, G, B. We'll do all carrots on this side. OK. 
pay G wait a minute. B B B <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit this. We're gonna go F F G F G G G um, Actually, we're going to go to bin uh, 3 Bin 3 and G There we go So potatoes, carrots No clue how long they'll take But I uh, will check on it a little bit later so we got a lot of the things that we need. I'm just trying to think of everything else uh, we need. We got titanium. Let's go check. Let's go check because we want to make the uh, spaceship. This is our main goal today. This way, next time we can definitely go ahead and take off. So I know I need to get diamonds still. So steel. Mag All right, let me write this down. Steel. Mag. Loom. Okay. Let me go get those. Because I have tons of it. Can finally breathe easy. All right. This little guy is just painting off in spades. <laughs> it's so easy to get around. All right, so we have on us, this is all iron. Let's go ahead and grab one, two, three of those. Take all this because we're gonna need some of it for the ship. So we're making steel first. We need to also not use all the aluminum. Let's see you. Can I make 50 without making too much of it then? There we go. Should leave me enough for everything. Uh, so aluminum is now low again. Is that all of my aluminum? No, I still have some. Man, I just go through it so fast. Aluminum, magnesium, steel. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. While that's cooking up, was it aluminum ore? <laughs> or was it bars and what same thing with the magnesium come on buddy okay bars good good deal so i remember it used to be that it was ore that it required so we should have enough steel by now i think it was only 10 steel yep okay let's go ahead and grab that And mm, let's move him because I think it'll put the spaceship right in front. So I'm going to put him over here just for safety. All right. Glass. Always the glass. Didn't I make glass? Did I not pick up the glass? Did I... Okay. Well. I have two shovels for some reason. Let's grab this glass. <laughs> oh my goodness.
say that's enough. Let's hopefully that is enough. So we still have a little bit more soil. We can actually make more planters for the other things in our life. Uh, hopefully bananas, banana leaves. We'll get, we'll get a lot of banana leaves or something. Just make sure glass got one. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make the rest. I'm sure it said five, but I, I'm worried. So let's make a little bit more. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, hit five. Hit five for me. All right, we're good. I, I, I'm... I'm pretty sure that it was five. Kind of should have probably not parked uh, Rufus where I did. So I could actually use something to get back over here. So yeah, the next time we group up or do this, we're going to be heading up to space. Definitely want to uh, at least harvest some uh, Azrium uh, as... Renum, Newum? <laughs> I don't know how you would say that. Anyway, just so that whenever the patch is put into the game that it's usable. So we're going to go ahead and create this. Oh yeah. Big man. Big man in the house. Look at that guy. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a very big garage to put that thing in. Um, well, have to, what I, okay, I have an idea too, so that it would have, um, markers, so whenever I'm flying pretty high, and so on, so we have fuel in it, and the way we know that is on the right hand side, right next to where it says HVR, throttle, and health, you have the fuel, um, of course, I uh, we'll go ahead and take off in it. I want to see how much fuel it uses for uh, just like a few minutes. Just <laughs> real quick. And then we'll uh, go ahead and end the episode. Next time we'll pack it up with everything that we're going to need to be able to survive on the other planet. Um, by the way, we're going to go ahead and pack all this stuff up into here real quick. I'm just, I have too much stuff on me. That was not aluminum. <laughs> uh, okay, that, that is in the, the correct box. Good thing I was facing the wrong box. Okay, let's go ahead and put that there. I'm going to have to get more aluminum, as always. It's, a, it's the struggle. Okay, what else do we have here? A lithium. Plutonium. Um, copper is there. Lithium is this one. Plutonium. Oh my goodness, you don't want to see this. Let me get this done, and then I'll be I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm finally done sorting everything out, as you can see here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the hydrazine. Actually, I could make the fuel depot, but it's going to be hard for that beast of a thing to actually get to... Um, to, to where it can park next to one until I've made the garage for it. So I don't know where I'm, I'm probably going to end up making it along this way for our, our other base, like garage, tool shed, whatever you want to call it. Um, so I want to customize this real quick. I want to switch this to black because this is how I used to have it on mine and that to white. And then we'll go ahead and put that away. And yeah, it looks a little bit better. Also, let's go ahead and put this on the bar. This is my new weapon. <laughs> Just there for whatever. And uh, let's go ahead and get in and uh, take off. So this is odd that it allows you to actually see from this view. Uh, this is the view you normally get. And what we're going to do is we're going to take off by pressing the left mouse button. 
And when we're all ready, we're gonna go ahead and get it to where it flips over, so it's a VTOL. And I'm gonna head over to Queen Chloe's, Cleo's, Cleo, I have to remember it's Cleo, uh, her mine. And we're going to kill her with the, uh, the good gun that I have now. So it should be, let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. And I'm not seeing a hit at all on the fuel. Um, okay. Oh, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and... Hello. How did you even jump that high, man? Okay, let's come up over here. Should be able to land right next to it. I don't want to get a little bit closer. Boom. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like the beast. Name it. Name it for me. Let me know what you think of it. All right, let's go ahead and go in. Okay, so we're in. So I wanted to talk about the gun. Now, in other gun games, you usually will shoot and then you'll uh, reload even without having um, used your full clip. This game doesn't work like that. If you do that, you're wasting a diamond. No matter how low your gun is, use the whole thing. Let it reload itself. Don't waste your ammo. <laughs> Um, because I mean, I, I know with playing games like Day of Infamy or Call of Duty or Battlefront or any of those games, you want to go ahead and just be ready for the next guy coming around the corner. He's dead. You son of a gun. There he goes. He's dead. Or he's not dead. Thank you. All right. Copper. Hopefully we'll get some diamonds. I think they must change the spawn rate. I don't, I don't know. Uh, we're good with plutonium, lithium, so really the only thing we want is diamonds. Of course, we want more of these guns because they do degrade, and the only way to get them at the moment is with Queen Chloe. So here's how I do this with the gun. As I go ahead and kneel down, and I just keep shooting her until she's dead. Oh God. there she goes she's dead so you now what you can do is you can switch over to your knife and you can kill whatever's left uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this Vitals dropping. just because of all right maybe I'll so what now <laughs> let's go ahead and is that grab our our gold or whatever you want to call it and no diamond but yeah so the gun really changes the game as far as that goes let's go ahead and I made bandages because I wanted to take some with us whenever we go to the other planet so what I'm going to do to prep for the next time we meet is I'm going to go ahead and put probably about five chisels on the ship. 
I'm going to put everything that I need to make um, a vehicle bay because I would really like us to be able to have a vehicle to just zoom around in and look over the landscape, see what's going on there, get the uh, get some of the indigenous wildlife, uh, see what they drop, and um, just see what's going on there. But uh, yeah, guys, I think what we're going to do is in the episode here, get back to the base and I will start uh, packing her up and getting ready. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.